I'm Sarah Thielen. I'm a horticulturist and landscape designer. And in this segment, I'm going to demonstrate how to make a hand cut edge. It's also called a manual cut edge or a shovel cut edge. There are a lot of different types of edgings available, including stone and uh, metal and all kinds of materials, wood. My favorite is this hand cut edge. I find that it's very clean and it's also very affordable, free. All you need is a little good hard labor. So the first thing you want to do is define your area. This area has already been defined. We're just sort of re-edging this bed. If you don't have a bed that you're already working with, then you must define the area first. Whether you spray, spray paint on the ground, or you use a hose, a string, or if it's a lot of dirt that you're working in, you can just take your foot and make an, a line in the soil. Something to keep you headed in the right direction once you start. I have made the mistake of not doing that in the past and you end up with a very weak line or your curve doesn't end up where you wanted it to be. So what I want to do is since this bed has been previously mulched, I'm going to rake back a good foot or so from the edge because once I start edging it's going to create a lot of loose soil and sort of dirt and I might want to reuse the mulch that I already have down. So what I want to do is sort of place my shovel or whatever material you're using or tool that you're using right along the edge of the grass and bed and you just sort of cut in at a 45 degree angle about three inches down remove that piece and just follow along and you just kind of toss it right back in the bed keeping your area nice and neat If the soil is very compacted, uh, sometimes I can go back this way and actually make that cut. You don't want it very wide. I wouldn't say wider than a dollar bill width. It doesn't need to be a trench, it's just an edge. Now that I've cut my edge in, I sort of double check to make sure my line looks good. I'll go back and maybe redo a couple little spots if I need to and you'll notice that we have a lot of clods of, of soil out here we need to break all those clods up just so we can get a smooth surface to remulch our bed and that's another point I want to make is that if you're redoing an edge which you probably if you're gonna do this sort of hand cut edge you're gonna have to redo this edge every year or so and I do it right before I remulch in the spring so you get a nice clean look so I'll just go down here and chop all this up and I'll make one or two passes with the rake just to smooth this out the best I can before I mulch if you don't mind your shoes getting dirty, you can even sort of step on it to keep it flat. All right, now that I've gotten my soil spread out a little bit, I'm gonna mulch this and I can show you how nicely the mulch falls right into the edge. Another point I wanna make about this edge is that a lot of the other edges that are on the market, you'll need to weed eat up close, whereas this edge, with a push mower, you should be able to just sort of get the wheel of the mower right along the edge here or even down in the edge, which makes it really easy to, to keep clean along the edge. Once I have the mulch in the bed, all I got to do is take my rake and just sort of gently spread it. See how it nicely just falls right into that edge? Now you have a nice clean edge to your garden and with the mulch it just freshens everything up. 